Alrighty, so today we are going to be drawing a geometric animal, okay? Uh, my kids, I like to call them my kids, uh, they are learning about shapes, right? And so I thought, what better way to learn about shapes than to geometize an animal? Alright, so let's get started. What you're going to need, you're going to need paper, right? Everyone should have paper. I don't know why you wouldn't have paper. You'll have paper, you'll have a pencil, and your handy dandy eraser if you want it. Um, you'll also need a sharpie and another sharpie. Okay, so you'll need two sharpies. Okay, um, a thin and a thick one. Uh, you can also use markers if you want, but I love sharpies. So, all right, so let's get started. So I am going to start off with an uh, oval. Okay, so it's going to be a sideways oval. Okay, that's going towards the right hand side of the page. Alright. Um, I'm going to make it a little bit circular. So let's add, make it look like that. And to be honest, it starts off looking like a potato. But that's okay. We're going to make it look less like a potato later on. Alright, so we have our beautiful potato head for our jellyfish. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to angular, make it more angular, geometize it. Okay, word of the day, geometize. Alright, so we're going to just angle it out a little bit so to make it look more like a gym, I guess. That's what one of my kids said. It looks like a gem. And I was like, okay, you're right. Um, so let's keep going. And it kind of looks like a, a what is it? A octagon. Octagon. Okay. Um, and you want to make sure that you're drawing lightly. Because obviously you will be erasing. Okay. This is what every artist does. I... I believe I'm I know I do it if you don't erase that's awesome but this is for all the erasers out there <laughs> all the people who use erasers okay um, so once you angle it you'll make it look like a you know octagon okay it obviously has four sides um, and a lot of my kids they were telling me oh make a decagon and I'm like I don't I don't draw decagons. Okay, I don't do that. I can. But I try to just stick with the simpler shapes. Okay, so we have our beautiful little, you know, potato turned into a gem head for our jellyfish. Okay, and next, what I want to do, I want to make shapes within it, but I want to start off with, um, like an interior um, hexagon, okay, almost hexagon, half, a, half, okay, it's half, okay, whatever kind of gun you would like to put in there, you can, okay, this is where we get to have creative license. Alright, so what I want to do, I kind of want to make another one that's a little bit bigger going around. So I'm just going to do a parallel shape just like this. And this is going to help us get the feel of a jellyfish, okay? We don't want it to be flat. Like, like that. We don't, I don't, that doesn't, can y'all see that? Okay. It doesn't look like that. Jellyfish don't look like that, okay? So, I have to show you this so you'll know what not to do. Um, so, we want it to look and feel like a jellyfish. Act as if you're like drawing on a jellyfish head. It's not going to be flat. It's going to have curves, okay? So, you're kind of curving it out like this. Okay, and again, remember you're drawing lightly. All right. And now I'm just going to start making shapes. Okay. Um, you can make whatever kind of shapes you want. 
um, I wouldn't make too many shapes. Okay, I wouldn't do a lot because it'll get too busy and we don't want to make our jellyfish look super busy, okay? We want it to look fantastic. We want it to look like it's, you know, a work of art, okay? Which I believe all of God's creation is a work of art. Um, but I digress. So you'll just make different shapes, okay? So you can have triangles, you can have, um, what is it, squares, okay? And you can always go back and erase, all right? You don't have to have set in stone, I want this shape, okay? You can always just, you know, start over, it's fine, okay? And let's do that. Well, that's interesting. Okay. Um, let's do... Okay. You see, I feel like... I have too many shapes here. So, I have a feeling that I am going to be erasing. And I am. Okay. Um... This is, like I said, for all the erasers out there, okay? All the people who use erasers. I'm calling you erasers. Okay, um, let's see. Let's see, I feel like this one can be a little bit broken up into some sort of shape. Okay. So, once you have that, where do you go from here? I am so glad that you asked. I am so glad that you asked what we are going to do. Okay, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Okay, so. No, I don't like this one. Okay, I say I'm done and I'm not. <laughs> I say I'm done and I'm not. Okay, I am officially done. Okay, so we have the top of our jellyfish head. And if you look at the middle part of him, okay, um, I'm gonna, I don't know the term for this area of jellyfish. If somebody wants to put in the comments what it is. Please go right ahead. Okay. Um, please let all of us know. Um, but what we're going to do, we're going to draw a line to help guide where we want it to start and where we want it to end. Okay, so I'm going to draw like just a swiggly line, like that. And what I want to do, I want to start drawing bubbles um, or circles. Okay, so we're just going to draw circles very lightly just so we'll know uh, where we want them to be okay you want them to be on top of each other I'm gonna start off actually pretty big okay and let's see I think we can make this one a little bit wider okay so I'm starting off with pretty big circles and as we go gradually down they're gonna get smaller okay so it'll get this you know, going from really big to small to give us a sense of space. Okay. That part of the jellyfish is in focus um, while the other part isn't. Okay. So I'm just making little circles, big circles, not so big circles. Okay. And as you can see, I'm getting um, pretty small and then they're becoming a little bit more so I'm having a little bit more bubbles or circles as I'm trying to say okay so they're getting smaller they're getting um, more quantity okay all right so you see that now we have this beautiful shaped head and then we have uh, this gorgeous inner layer of the jellyfish amazing so 
What do we do next? You can also erase the line if you want. Okay. My erasers. Where are my erasers? Um, so you can obviously erase the line. Okay. It was just a guideline, so you really didn't need it. Okay. And once you do that, now we can focus on um, the tentacles. Okay, so for the tentacles, it's just straight lines or straight curved lines. Okay. Okay, going in whatever direction you want. Okay, some can be um, behind the inner layer, some can be on top. Okay. And then I want some to be pretty thick. Um, and I'm going to thicken it with um, my Sharpies which I am using okay but I have a general idea of where okay where my jellyfish is the tentacles the inner layer and the head all right so this is awesome okay now uh, I'm gonna use my sharpies okay so I'm gonna start off with the thick one start off with your thick sharpie um, and let's start outlining, okay? So I'm going to start off by outlining the shape of the head first. Okay, and another key thing to do um, when you're trying to get straight lines, it's helpful to maybe rotate your page. Okay, so you'll get really sharp lines. Okay, or you can use a ruler, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. As long as you have straight lines. If you don't have straight lines, then it does matter. Okay. Um, so your jellyfish. Let's work on the tentacles. Okay. So I want some to be super thick and some to be skinny because I want to give this, uh, you know, variety effect. Not all the tentacles are the same size depending on where you look. So, and I'm just gonna follow to the best of my ability. my lines that I pre-drew okay and I'm gonna skip some just because okay, I want some to be thick some to be skinny okay and I'm going to put this one in front okay and if you mess up that's okay you can always go back in with your sharpie and correct it okay who knew that was a thing you can actually correct your mistakes or just go with it that's basically what you're doing all right so okay um and i'm just going to make this a little bit thicker as well okay um i'm not filling it in I just want to let it be an outline, okay? So once you have your lines that are going on top of the inner layer, then you can go to this part and you can start outlining the Sharpie as well, okay? And sometimes I'll like go back over it, so I'll make one that's, you know, I'll draw it once or outline it once and then I'll do it again. Just so it'll seem super thick. And then maybe I'll just go back because I really like when I drew this the gestural quality so I might just go back and draw another circle inside okay or adding some sort of detail okay I think it's nice do you think it's nice I hope you think it's nice okay. um if not that's cool I still got love for you all right so and I'm just drawing my circles. Okay. Um, this one be pretty big. Even down to the little baby circles. Okay. Um, and let's 
make this one pretty big. And again, if I do that, it's making it seem like it has a shadow. Which I think is actually pretty cool. So I can do that to others too. So go back in, make one side a little bit thicker than the rest. Okay, so it looks like it's a little bit thicker. Alright. Um, so I think I'm going to stop there with the big sharpie. And let's get the thin one. So this is ultra fine point. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. Um, you know, ultra fine point, not fine point. Ultra fine point. Okay. Ultra. That means extra. Okay, so I'm just going to start with the top of the head first okay and again if you mess up because sharpies are permanent and you might mess up unless you're like fantastic and have steady hands and you're like a surgeon um, but most of us are not so you just have to work around it incorporate it into the design itself okay no one will notice a mistake Unless you tell them, but people really won't ask that question. Or maybe you know people who ask that question, and then, you know, then I don't know what to tell you. Okay, so I'm just going in, trying to be as straight as I can, and notice that I'm rotating my page. Okay, I'm rotating my page, because it's easier, you'll get straighter lines that way. Okay, so just take your time, do the best you can. Okay, and this is helping you practice drawing straight lines, all right? If you're not using a ruler, great. If you are, try to draw some without using a ruler. See if you can draw some without using a ruler because that's going to really strengthen um, your drawing skills. Right? Okay. Steady hands. You know, there's this... um. Uh, show that I watch no it's not a show it's a movie so there's a movie that I watch called the mighty ducks uh, it's about a hockey PE um, peewee team and one of the kids are like Fulton use soft hands soft hands okay so use soft hands or steady hands I think that's a better way to put that use steady hands Um, and I think I've decided to not use that triangle over here. Um, and whenever you use Sharpie, just wait a second before you start erasing. Okay, notice that I didn't erase any of my pencil marks. Um, it's because when you erase it too soon before the Sharpie dries, it's gonna smudge. And we don't want that. Do you want that? I don't think you want that. Um, so, so let's just wait a little bit and then we can erase. So we'll move down. So why don't we work on the bubbles next? The bubbles! Okay, not bubbles from Powerpuff Girls. But these bubbles. Alright. How's it going guys? Is it easy? You got the hang of it? I'm sure they're looking awesome. Okay. Um, and please post in the comments like whether you tried this and how yours looked. How did they come out? I would love to know. Um, I did this with my students and they absolutely loved it. They had so much fun. They were like, Miss Paula, this is so fun this is the best art class and I said really I try okay um 
I want them to like really have fun, so I'm always thinking about ways that I can do that and accomplish that. Because I don't want art class to be boring. Okay, there's some things that they do have to learn. I teach middle school um, art class, and so I want them to learn um, all the elements of art and everything. And I've been doing that through lecture, but I know that they really love the um, demonstration, so I'm just trying to incorporate that as much as I can. Okay, and as I continue videos like these, I'll share you more um, about what kids have said about me, about the projects I gave. Um, it's been some fun times. Some real fun times, I have to say. Okay. We're almost done here. And this is cool. Also, like the little baby bubbles, they kind of look like marbles. That's what I was trying to say. So they kind of look like marbles. And that's cool. I like that. I like that. So maybe I'll just make some marble effects. You don't have to, but I want to. Okay, so I'm totally like adjusting as I go along, which I love about art because I can do that. Okay, so, um, all right, so let's keep going. Let's work on the thin lines. Okay, so again, steady hands. You're gonna start at the front and then work your way down. Follow the curve as close as you can without stopping because you don't want to have like li little stop marks you can always tell um, but you can always go back and try to um, smooth that out smooth the line out a bit as best as you can all right And I'm totally adjusting as life goes on, which I love. This is what art is all about. You adjust as life goes on. Right? But I know some people don't like that, and that's okay. Um, we all have different ways of dealing with, with things. I'm more type B, um, so I kind of just go with the flow, and I always recommend my students to just go with the flow, because they may not get something right away, um, and that's okay. But if you're type A, you might not like that, and that's okay too. You find what works best for you. And I'm just smoothing out this line. Right? Um, and then let me go over here. Okay, and I'm gonna go over here. Do the best you can. Follow that curve. Over here, follow that curve. Follow that curve. Okay, and I'm gonna add some. Probably that's a little bit bigger. Okay, so maybe I'll get my big sharpie out again. Just gonna go a little bit along this line. How's it looking? I think it looks really nice. Oh my gosh, that looks awesome. Wait, let me add a small bubble over here. I think we need an extra bubble. Maybe over here too. Ooh, a big one. I'll make a big one. I love it. It looks awesome. Alright, so we have that done, right? Now, let's add... Mm, I think we need to add lines. 
because we also talked about lines in class so I'm gonna draw some lines and so what I'm gonna do you can choose whatever kind of lines you want whatever kind of line patterns you think will look great with this awesome geometric jellyfish Choose whatever kind you want. If you want curved, circles, totally fine. Rainbow curves, okay. Rainbow curve lines, totally up to you. Okay. And I love the polka dot. So, obviously I'm gonna add polka dots. Who doesn't love polka dots? They do exist. Okay, people like that do exist, and that's okay. No judgment. Secretly judging. So, all right. Um, I think we can do. Let's do zigzag. Maybe here we can do horizontal. Okay, um, uh, let's do polka dots over here because I love polka dots. Aha! Okay. Okay, I think this is super cool. This is super fun. And then maybe over here I'll do. Um, I'll do an X. So like that. Oh, I love it! Alright, do y'all love yours? Okay, so this is my jellyfish. Um, so you are basically done. All you have to do left is erase. So use your handy dandy eraser and just erase. Okay. Um, make sure you wait for all your Sharpie to dry and then erase. Okay. You need your Sharpie to dry otherwise it's going to get smudgy and you don't want that. Do you? I don't think you do. Okay. So uh, I'm just going to erase this and I will see you guys in the next. Uh, art tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share because I want other people to be able to draw too. Okay, so God bless you guys and continue to draw. All right, don't stop. Do not stop.